right today we will be discussing about unitary method this method is very useful in solving typical problems around time and work or say time and distance such kind of problems you can easily solve by using the unitary method today we will be studying about the unitary method and its applications with examples so what is unitary method when we use per unit then we say that we are using the unitary method for example if i say that i am traveling 20 km in 5 hours so when i will say that my speed is 4 km per hour so i am converting my 20 km in 5 hours into per hour basis so that is called unitary method per unit of time how much i have traveled similarly I am completing a particular work let's say in 10 days so per day how much I am doing is 1 by 10 of the work so that is called the unitary method and we will use this unitary method to solve our typical problems two typical terms we should understand before jumping into our solutions one is direct variation another is inverse variation what is direct variation i am giving you an example time distance if time increases the distance travel increases if time reduces distance travel also reduces so if i am traveling in one hour four kilometer I, in five hours I can easily say, say that 5 into 4 that is 20 kilometer I will be traveling. So this relationship is called direct variation. This is an example of a direct variation. What will happen in case of inverse? It will be the opposite of a direct variation. The relationship between number of workers and the time taken to complete a particular work. If you increase the number of workers, your time to complete the particular work will decrease more number of people will take lesser time of less time to complete a particular work whereas less number of people will take more time to complete that particular work so this kind of relationship is called inverse relationship so these two phenomena we should remember the inverse inverse variation and the direct variation and then how to solve that problem we will see in an example and then we will go deep into solving problems from each category. The best method to solve such type of problems in unitary method is arrow method. A man earns 400 rupees in 10 days. So how much he will earn in 28 days? So you have one side, the variables are, one is the 10 days that is reference to time and the earnings now you have to find out whether their relationship is a direct so that question should come first now if the time increases the earnings should increase or decrease that should be your first question the answer to this is if he is working for more time more number of days he should earn more so therefore his increase in time is increasing the earnings and therefore the relation should be direct once you establish that this is a direct relationship then we will go into the solution part now what is the question is that the question is in 28 days what should be his earnings let's say the earnings be x now for direct i'll tell you one simple method what you have to do is you have to do an arrow method 10 into x which should be equal to 28 into 400 which implies x is equal to 28 into 400 divided by 10 1 1 2 0 so this is the answer now we will take an example of inverse relations. The question is, four men can do a piece of work in five days. How many men will do it in four days? We have already discussed this number of workers and time. So as we have discussed earlier, 
this is an inverse relationship or inverse variation so if it is an inverse variation again put the values like that number of workers is 4 in the first instance and then 5 is the number of days so 4 is the second in your question and this is what we have to find out so therefore x this time you have to multiply like this horizontally there we are following in case of a direct we are following a crisscross method here we are following horizontal method so that means 4 into 5 is equal to x into 4 which implies x is equal to 4 into 5 divided by 4 which is equal to 5 this is our answer but this type of problems assume that all the men are working in the same speed whereas this is not the case many times you will find that a person is doing faster than other rest of the others one person let's say he is doing a particular job in 10 days the other person may be doing it in just five days or another person may be doing it in eight days so therefore the speed of every person is different from one person to another person let us attempt some of those type of problems also the question is ajay can paint a wall in eight days and vijay can do it in 24 days if both work together in how many days they can paint the wall so here two people ajay and vijay they are working in different speed and we have to find out when both work together how many days they are painting the wall ajay can paint the wall in eight days try to figure it out how much he can do it in a one day similarly if vijay can do the painting in 24 days then find out or how much of work he can do in one day they work together find out in one day how much they are able to complete and then try to figure it out how much time they will take to complete the whole work here Ajay is completing in 8 days so which implies in one day he will cover 1 upon 8 the reciprocal of 8 so every day he will com complete 1 upon 8 so that means in 8 days 1 upon 8 1 upon 8 like that he will cover 1 by 8 multiplied by 8 he will be covering the entire work Similarly, Vijay completes in 24 days. So, in one day, he will cover 1 upon 24. Now, if they work together, Ajay plus Vijay, they will be working in one day, 1 plus 8 plus 1 plus 24, which is coming 24, 3 plus 1, that is 4 by 24, which is equal to 1 upon 6. Now, both together they can complete 1 upon 6th of work so if that is the case then full work they have to complete just inverse of this is 6 days this is our answer hopefully you have understood the unitary method and you have liked this video try to solve as many problems using the unitary method if you face any kinds of a problems put them in the comments box I will try to answer as quickly as possible. Thank you for watching and uh, subscribe to the channel so that in future if I will uh, upload more videos you will be able to get the notification immediately and you can watch all my videos in a single place. Thanks for watching.